Safari is a horrible browser. That's what I told myself after a few times of trying and failing to use it. Turns out I was just used to Chrome, but after spending a few weeks trying it out, I finally cracked it. So here's how to use it. First things first are tab groups. They're kind of weird because on Chrome, you just have them up top and you can see and toggle all of them at once. On Safari, you click Command Shift L and then tab groups will pop up on the left. On Safari, they're basically like separate instances of your browser. So even if I quit Safari, Command Q, and then reopen it again, you'll notice that all of these tab groups are still here. If I want to hide them again, Command Shift L and they're gone. Anyway, back to the start page. Now, when you first open Safari, you're going to see something like this or this or this. Okay, the background is kind of cool. But to remove all of these distractions from the home page, just click this menu at the bottom right and disable everything. And you'll have a nice clean Safari start page. Now there are two views that your Safari possesses. Click command comma to go into settings. You can open settings for any app with command comma within macOS and then go into tabs. You'll see that there are two tab layouts. What the separate one does is when you open a new tab, you can do that with command T or command W to close an app, you'll notice that each tab is displayed like this. But if I go back to settings and click compact, you'll notice that they just sort of become compact. And this is just personal preference. Next, if you have more than one tab open, what you can do is pinch with two fingers like this and mission control will open up within your browser. So it's like swiping up with three fingers on your Mac, but just within Safari. It's pretty useful. To get out of it, just click on a tab that you want to go to or gently swipe out. Next up, there's bookmarks. They show up at the top if you're using Chrome and surprise, surprise, it's the same with Safari. Command Shift B to toggle the hiding or showing of the bookmark bar. And I don't have any bookmarks right now. So if I want to add one, I would click Command D and I can add this to my bookmarks, which in Safari for some reason is called favorites. Anyway, I can click add and now it will show up here. If I want to hide bookmarks, again, Command Shift B and Command Shift B to open them again. Next you'll notice that the top of my Safari probably doesn't look the same as yours. And that's because you can right click up here and click customize toolbar. Here you can basically drag everything out that you don't need, like so, just drag, whoop, put something in here if you need something. What I have here is basically just a new tab page. Then this one brings up that mission control that I talked about before. And then the back and forward buttons here. This is an extension, which I'll talk about later. Also, if you don't want to remember the shortcut, command shift L to open your tab groups, you can add this one right here. And then if I click it, it will open up my tab groups. By the way, if you ever had a thought about starting a YouTube channel, I recently released my YouTube video course where I'll teach you about how to make faceless videos in Premiere Pro in something like five hours. So, you know, link in the description. Now, if you want to change things like your home page address or your default search engine, you can again go to settings, command comma, and then under search, you can pick your search engine. Now for the home page, you can go into general and set up your default home page here so that it immediately opens your favorite song as soon as you launch Safari every time. Now, if you want YouTube to stop auto playing things when you open them in a new tab like this, what is this ad? You can click on Safari here and then go to settings for YouTube and then under autoplay, select never autoplay. And you can do this with any website. Now, unfortunately, Safari isn't the best PDF viewer that Mac has. I don't really like the default preview app either. So what I choose to do instead is just use Microsoft Edge because it's frankly a great PDF viewer. Another thing that makes browsers cool is extensions. Unfortunately, Safari doesn't have as many of them as Chrome Chrome or Firefox have, but the thing is that you install them through the App Store. So if you want to find extensions, click Safari and Safari extensions. Here you'll be able to browse the most common ones or click to see all to see all. Once you install it, there's going to be instructions on how to set it up. Now, extensions is what can really turn your browser experience into a better experience. And I've already made a few videos about extensions for Chrome, Firefox, and Safari, which I'll link to in the description.